Tonight on the outside edge, go to nearly any body of water here in Maine and you'll see people around and you'll also see a lot of brightly colored kayaks. Mallory Brooke is a big fan and this week she takes us down east for a kayak adventure in the Copscook Bay region, about as far east as you can get and still be in Maine. We are finishing our Outside Edge series for the summer down east, and we are exploring Cobbs Cook Shores. We're starting at the Old Farm Point Shorefront Park and eventually going to do a paddle from Huckins Beach all the way down to Red Point Nature Preserve. After that, we'll also be doing a little hiking as well. We ventured to the easternmost point of the state, and the United States actually, to discover the beauty of Cobbs Cook Bay. Cobbs Cook Shores parks are free to the public. We pick a lot, lot of these pieces of property to tie into the water. So a lot of really great paddling venues and, and paddling trails. Cobscook Shores is the sister property to Penobscot River Trails, which we visited in the Katahdin region both in summer and winter. Both founded and funded by Butler Conservation, their focus is on preserving Maine's natural beauty through work and outdoor education allowing more than 15,000 students to take part in the Maine Outdoor Education Program since 2012. We host over eight school, local schools uh, surrounding the bay, and we are expanding um, over three seasons in the school year. Similar to PRT, students substitute indoor gym class with an outdoor option, with paddling, canoeing, and biking as options in the warm season. Spencer McCormick, a registered Maine guide and coordinator for the Outdoor Education Program, planned a paddle and short hike for us, paying close attention to the tides. So, Coptic Bay is a part of the world-class tidal systems up in Bay of Fundy. Uh, so our tides reach up 22, 24 feet. High tide rushes in quickly, and along with a hefty headwind, created quite the paddle for us. We took a couple breaks along the way, listening to the shorebirds, watching bald eagles circle overhead, and admiring the beauty of the last stretch of Maine's rugged coastline. A little more than five miles later, we arrived at Red Point Nature Preserve as the tide began to go down. Following a lunch break, we headed on foot through the preserve, even walking on a trail that we had just paddled through just a couple hours before. The color of the water and quick tidal movements are captivating, allowing us to take advantage of some photo ops. Even better to share it with our teens, who through so many Outside Edge episodes are realizing how much is at their fingertips in the only state they've called home, which is part of Spencer's mission after growing up in Robinston, just north of Cobbs Cook Bay. So I did travel away to get uh, a degree out in North Dakota, and then when I visited uh, back home, I fell in love with this area once again. Which was to make sure that local youth could see and appreciate the beauty of the area he fell in love with. But what I hear in the schools is that there's nothing to do here, and we need to move to go find something cool. But with this outdoor ed program through Cobbs Cook Shores, we're taking these kids out. We're letting them know there's many free public parks and come back with your friends and family and teaching them how to use the land and, and, and the outdoor skills to keep them safe. For the Outside Edge, I'm meteorologist Mallory Brooke.